for Ask the Expert, the number one stressor for Americans, finances. Yeah, those concerns are having negative impacts on relationships and causing many people to put their health at risk. Certified financial planner Tony Drake is here and he's going to help us get our finances in order and really tell us how can we minimize stress because this is a big problem for a lot of couples, Tony. Yeah, can you believe it? 31% of people say it's the number one stress for them. It's a big yeah. stressors weighing out the over, you know, health which is normally up there and and other issues so it's really concerning and it's affecting our health and relationships so important topic to talk about well I imagine the issue is that you're either spending too much or don't have enough to get what you need yeah. right so uh, how does the money in uh, the stressor how does this impact us well it's really impacting quite a bit of us and I think the biggest thing to remember is what we call financial infidelity for relationships make sure you're being honest with each other typically in the couples there's one that's more into the finances than the other and even if that's the case make sure once a month you're sitting down sharing with each other what's going on get rid of the secrets don't have the secret bank accounts the secret expenses so mm -hmm. make sure we're being honest with each other that's a big first step so what can we do to actually minimize our own money stress for our families are there steps we can take Tony? yeah it really starts with the budget we've talked about the budget a lot on this segment but it really is the foundation of any successful plan and if a lot of people don't know where to start if you don't know where to start with the budget we have a great tool on our website to help you create that budget wealthwisconsin.com but you want to put down expenses think of the little stuff the coffees the things we don't always think add up that's going to make a big difference so when you say make a budget i mean look at what you're spending for gas and groceries and child care and education i mean th th those are the big items and even the little items even the little stuff it yeah. adds up there's some great apps if you're into technology nowadays where it'll track it all for you you can link your bank mm -hmm. accounts and your credit cards and it'll track all your expenses but a lot of times we find it's what we call a latte effect it's the little stuff that yeah. makes a big difference yeah my dad always said just have wants that are less than your need, needs that are less than right. your wants. So don't don't spend what you don't have, basically. I mean, so, that, that's, that's the Amer basically. American way, right, unfortunately. <laughs> but if we can spend less than what we're bringing in, start to put some of that money away. We want to build up that emergency fund, pay off the debt. And as early as possible, you want to think about retirement and start sticking that money so away. So how do you approach the debt? Because some people might have multiple cards, and they've got one that has a higher end and then one that has a lower end. Should you try to get the, rid of the lower end one that you, you know, maybe have a couple hundred bucks on? How do you pay that off without adding to it? A couple, uh, couple different theories there. Now is a great time to talk about it. A lot of us are getting tax refunds. For some of us, that's going to be the biggest lump sum we'll get throughout the year. So that's a great way to apply to that. I really like applying it to the small balances. Get some momentum. Pay those off. See those get off the list. Mm -hmm. Then you can start to pay off some of those bigger balances. But get a plan in place and get that started. Are those debt consolidation programs good to you? You, you know, some of them are, some of them aren't. You have to be real careful there. Some of those consolidation programs are run by the credit cards, so they're definitely in the interest of those companies. So, But there are some great le legitimate resources as well. Tony, always appreciate your yeah. insight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much, Tony Drake. And if you have a question for the experts, you can email them. Email our experts at asktheexpert, today's tmj4.com. You can leave a voicemail number. Here it is, 414-967-5253. Or leave a voicemail.